The arms lifestyle is the key of Malaysia's prosperity. Muslim in Malaysia are not only obedient in carrying out compulsory rituals such as solat prayer, fasting, hajj. They are also balanced in carrying out social worship. It is reflected in the charity activities in Malaysia, which has become a trendy lifestyle in various circles of Malaysian society. Here are some types of lifestyle of arms or charity in Malaysia. Number one, free markets. Free markets in Malaysia can be held individually or in groups. The process of implementing a free market is also very simple. No need for special permits. Market participants are just holding a mat on the side of the road and then placing various items such as clothing, stationery, and basic necessities such as rice, sugar, cooking oil, salt, etc. People from the lower classes who really need help may take these items freely and for free of charge, of course. Number two, arms basket. Arms baskets are available at various large malls. Most schools which usually contain the staple foods such as salt, rice, cooking oil, sugar, etc. For the lower class people in Malaysia. Number three, suspended meal. Suspended meal is a form of arms food for homeless people with the following ways. First, we visit restaurants that provide this program order food and inform this of suspended meals. Two, we pay for the food as we want. Three, the restaurant will write on a paid menu paper. The paper will be affixed to the notice board. Four, the bums will visit this restaurant and see the ordered menu on the notice board that has been paid for a suspended meal. Five, the homeless orders food as per the menu that has been paid by the donor. 6. The restaurant then gives the food orders. 7. Bums may bring home the food orders. The benefit of alms in Islam are to be the cause of fulfillment of the intention, to give a sense of happiness and increase faith, gratitude for social empathy and fortune. By adopting a lifestyle of alms that is of high worship value, it is no wonder that Allah provides convenience for the people of Malaysia in the form of prosperity and economic progress. So with the lifestyle of arms, people of Malaysia have become richer and more prosperous not only in the world but also in the hereafter because the treasured property will be multiplied and become a true treasure in the hereafter. Malaysia people have made arms a lifestyle because they realize that the pleasures of the world are only brief or temporary. All the pleasures of the world will only make us live for a moment. With the lifestyle of charity, the people of Malaysia do not want to be called a group that deny the favor of Allah, so that they always express gratitude by sharing, helping fellow human beings who are lacking with the excess of the possessions that Allah has given. By giving care and sharing love with our fellow human beings who are lacking, we do not become socially isolated or antisocial, because those who are deficient are part of our lives, even they can also be one of the factors helping us to Allah happen, thanks to fortune that becomes cleaner and useful after we wash with arms, because some of our possessions or property become the rights for orphans and the poor. Social gap, which is the gap between the rich and the poor, may be difficult to remove. But with a lifestyle of charity that continues to be embedded in our mindset, it will not only be a bridge connecting to the relationship between the rich and the poor, who will strengthen the relationship of fellow human beings, but more than that, arms that we Donate will be a valuable provision to cross the Siratal Mustaqim bridge in the hereafter.